days are never ending When the nights are feeling lonely There's a place that I can go Where the birds are free to roam In the sky, flying high Over fields of green and Where the stars inside the sky Where the last ones shine and bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on Shine and bright, pushing through the storm and night. We'll be burning on and on and on. Hello, Scorpio. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 26th of December 2016 until the 1st of January 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Ace of Pentacles. You may see new opportunities come your way to generate a new source of income or you may be lucky enough to receive a financial gift or windfall. On a broader level, this ace indicates abundance in all areas of your life and a general feeling that you are indeed blessed and deserving of everything that comes your way. Operate by the law of attraction, and send out positive energy into the universe so that you may receive abundance in return. The Ace of Pentacles is about manifestation of your goals, and that you are moving into a more positive state of mind about what you are capable of achieving. Your ideas are ready to be turned into something tangible. Figure out what will work and make it a reality. Thus, the Ace of Pentacles sees you starting to map out how exactly you will achieve your goals, by creating targeted action plans and getting those actions underway. There are opportunities that are becoming available to you that will help you to manifest your goals and realize your inner potential, whilst at the same time generate some level of income and financial support. You are beginning to see that the world is indeed your oyster and that through careful planning, you can manifest your true goals and desires. The Ace of Pentacles can suggest that you need to introduce something new into the equation rather than let things remain as they are, and hope they work themselves out. The Ace of Pentacles suggests you throw something new into the mix. Consider something that is out of character or something you might not ordinarily do, or get around to doing. For instance, you might consider joining a club, taking a class to learn new skills or maybe even picking up a couple of books to learn how to build a new business. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Eight of Cups. What do you want most right now is to ask yourself what you can do to bring a deeper satisfaction and joy to your life beyond the obvious pursuit of material satisfaction and or physical enjoyment. You are seeking deeper meaning to life and focusing in on your personal truth. You want to escape from the rat race and pursue deeper, more spiritual goals at this time. You are willing to let go of your material possessions in favor of something more meaningful. Thus, the Eight of Cups is often reflective of the start of a journey of discovery, particularly on a spiritual level. You are disappointed enough to walk away from everything you have built up so far. It could indicate a disappointment in love or dissatisfaction with material success. It could also indicate that you have overextended yourself to the point of emotional exhaustion. Even though you have already come so far, you feel that you can no longer go on and your only choice is to walk away from the situation. You feel disappointed with yourself but you know that this is the right thing to do before you completely burn out. You may also be feeling that you are giving too much and not getting nearly enough in exchange. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the Three of Swords. 
you are afraid that you have to go through challenging times and the end of relationship, a loved one has passed, or you felt hurt from a situation that affected you deeply. Thankfully, this time has passed and you are on the path to recovery, realizing that with behind every cloud is a silver lining and there are indeed other things in your life which you can feel happy about. You have reached a point where you can accept the pain and hurt and are ready to move on. Overall, you are finding it very hard to move on from a recent loss or heartbreak. This card suggests that inside you are still suffering emotionally from a previous loss and need to go through an emotional purging process to allow yourself freedom from your past. You are doing your best to leave this behind and make a new life but it is still a long journey ahead. Be careful that you are not getting stuck in the moment of grief, and instead you are focused on leaving behind your past and embracing new opportunities. It is always hard to bear the pain of separation or understand why you have been inflicted with such sorrow. Learn to accept your situation so that the healing process will not become blocked. Allow yourself to experience the pain, give yourself the right to grieve and release the heartache, let it go, and then, once the upset, pain and tears have gone, open the door to new experiences. If you are experiencing challenges in your relationships, the Three of Swords serves as a reminder to be the peacemaker. Never be afraid to say you are sorry. Always think before you speak so that you will not later regret what you have said. The fourth card for you is representing what is going for you? Your card is the Five of Wands. You will have to stand up for yourself in order to win the conflict. There will be an end of conflict, tension and competition of some sort. It is impacting your ability to move forward with your goals. Rather than being able to work together with others, you are coming up against it and are constantly being challenged on your point of view. The trouble is that everyone is trying to express their point of view and opinions but no one is listening, and so there is little progress. There is only conflict, and there is little or no value in the discussions that are occurring. Similarly, this card is representative of a group of people who are committed to an end but they cannot fully agree on how to implement this goal, as each has their individual agenda as to how to bring this to fruition. Aim to turn this into constructive conflict by allowing each person to openly share their thoughts but then listen to other people's thoughts. Once everyone has been heard and all opinions have been considered, determine the best path forward. The Five of Wands encourages an enthusiastic approach to change. Change is coming, whether you like it or not. However your challenge will be in ensuring that everyone is on the same page and is focused on dealing with this change constructively and positively. Currently, there is scattered energy resulting from misdirected enthusiasm. Everyone has many ideas but no one is there to bring them into one consistent path forward. Your role may be in identifying a clear strategy and purpose that can be implemented by all involved. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the page of pentacles. You are afraid of manifesting your dreams and goals. There may be current blockages standing in the way of you achieving those goals. It may be that you have not planned sufficiently, or that you have become lazy and complacent and have lost sight of your goal. You may also be too busy daydreaming about new dreams and goals, without having taken any action on your original dreams and goals. So, you need to review your goals and think again about why you were originally motivated to achieve them. Think about what it will be like once you achieve that goal, and become recommitted to your objectives and the actions required to make your dreams a reality. You are focusing on short-term pleasures and desires rather than sustainable and long-term goals. You will need to move beyond material satisfaction and towards what will bring you sustainable happiness and fulfillment. Similarly, 
you may be finding it difficult to get a specific project or idea off the ground. Each time you try, it seems to amount to nothing, or it takes you even further away from where you want to be. There is a lack of success here and a mounting frustration that perhaps you will never be able to achieve what you want. You may be losing faith in your talents and abilities. If this is the case, relax, lighten up and give yourself some space and downtime for a short period. Take a holiday or a break from your usual routine, and you will find that this helps you to re-energize and refocus. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the page of cups. You may hear about the birth of a child, an engagement or marriage, a wonderful ideal plan, pregnancy, a new relationship travel plans, etc. This positive message is unexpected but welcomed, and you are likely to respond to the news or message in an emotional manner. The Page of Cups suggests that you are more likely to show or express your emotions now. You may be more emotional or moved by simple things. Do not be afraid to let your feelings show and to wear your heart on your sleeve. It is okay to be sentimental and romantic. Let your heart lead the way. The Page of Cups is like your inner child-youthful, free, creative, intuitive and inspired. This page has never been taught to suppress his innate emotional and intuitive power, and therefore he is a kindred spirit whose imagination is totally free, free to dream wonderful dreams and to create his life exactly as he chooses. In this way, the Page of Cups represents renewal of your emotional and creative self to allow that sense of freedom to reappear in your life. This card encourages you to take a fresh perspective on a difficult issue and to approach that situation with benefit of the doubt, love and compassion. The Page of Cups appearance tells you to never stop listening to your intuition and believing in your dreams. If you cease to dream, then your dreams shall never come true because they do not exist anymore. In your darkest moments, dreams can often provide a ray of hope through with the page of cups can manifest. Dare to dream and all things become possible. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the world. The angels sent you this card because you've happily completed something of great importance. They're congratulating you on a job well done, you're now ready to move on to something new. Enjoy your feelings of wholeness and completion, and give yourself a pat on the back for your amazing accomplishments. You've grown spiritually and have evolved to a whole new level in your understanding of the universe, You've experienced significant enlightenment and have expanded your consciousness of how to attain joy and contentment. You feel a great sense of gratitude. Additional meanings of this card, perfection. A move to the next level. Receiving an award. A new house or job. Complete clarity. Cosmic awareness. Recognition for the use of your talents. Freedom. Archangel Michael oversees your divine life purpose, and he knows what roles your soul has been born to fulfill. Call upon Michael for guidance as to your next steps, as well as to give you the courage, strength, and confidence to take them. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.